1967 Mustang that isn't exactly as it appears on today's What Are You In For? This 1967 Mustang Fastback is a really good looking car, and this one is set up to run too. Looking at the front of the car, we first see it's got a fiberglass hood, which is uh, very Shelby-esque, which is cool. And it also has some Shelby influence in the engine. This is a supercharged 5.4 liter SVT Shelby GT500 engine that has been shoehorned between the shock towers on the 67. Now these engines came out in the uh, late 2000s, 2007 I think was the first year for the supercharged GT500. And back then they started off around 500 horsepower. I don't know exactly what year this one is, uh, but we can assume that it's 500 or more. It took quite a bit to get this under the hood of this Mustang. The uh, brakes and clutch assembly uh, are all kind of hidden behind that valve cover over there. And uh, today we're doing some maintenance on this car, so some of the bits and pieces have been removed, like the air filter and whatnot. Uh, but there's a full complement of aluminum coolers in front for the engine, the AC, and the supercharger, uh, plus some reservoirs. So it's all packaged really tightly, um, but very functional. And this car does see street and track usage, and to help it handle better on the track, it's got a highly upgraded suspension with tubular components and a coilover shock and strut assembly up front, along with upsized bare brakes and oversized wheels and tires. Inside the car, you'll find leather wrap bucket seats and a full custom console that's also upholstered in leather with a, uh, an LCD screen. Uh, the dashboard's been upfitted with auto meter white face gauges, uh, but it still retains a classic looking wood rimmed steering wheel. Uh, and this one also has a six speed manual transmission. So it's designed to be comfortable on the street, but again, have all the right parts to hit the track. The rear suspension of this car has uh, solid trailing arms and a Watts Link style, which allows the rear axle to be located in the center of the car without moving back and forth. Uh, of course, it does have the coilover suspension set up as well. It came here to our shop because there was some issues with the rear axle uh, differential and, and pinion gear, so we're changing that out. There was numerous leaks. Uh, on the axle and of course uh, up front on the engine we had a bunch of leaks. The, uh, the supercharger coolant and the engine coolant both had some leaks. So it's just getting some general maintenance before the uh, season comes where it's ready to go back out on the road course track. But I think the biggest secret that this car has is the overall finish. As you can see it's nice and shiny looking uh, but this is not paint. This car is wrapped so it's pretty cool. The reason why they wrapped it is so they don't have to worry about scratching up a high dollar paint job when beating on this Mustang. So the owner calls this car a GT500 SC for supercharged. We just call it really, really cool. So we like the fact that he drives it hard, but when you drive them, you break them and then you fix them. And that's why this one's here. That's what this car is in for. If you've got a car that needs some maintenance or you want to build a full Mustang like this from start to finish, you can let us know. Our website is v8speedshop.com. We're happy to help you out.